In my class, The Power of Pinterest, you'll learn a Pinterest marketing strategy for creative small business owners. Why should you care? Let me show you the traffic and revenue generating power of Pinterest in this video. Let's take a peek at exactly how much traffic I've been able to generate to my website via Pinterest, as well as how much money I've been able to generate because of that traffic from Pinterest. So this is the back end of my Google Analytics from my website, MissMalaprop.com. As you can see, I pulled up a little over a year's worth of traffic data. Now, just as an FYI, I don't update the site very much anymore, and I haven't even really been pinning anything to Pinterest new, but I'm still getting a lot of traffic. So here you can see if I scroll down and we are in acquisition and source medium. You can see that most of my traffic comes from organic search traffic from Google, about 50% of it. But right after that, you've got Pinterest as the number two traffic source, making up almost 25% of my total traffic for the year. And you can also see how much time those people from Pinterest are spending on my pages, actually about a minute on average compared to 28 seconds on average from Google. So in a lot of ways, this traffic coming from Pinterest is much better than even the traffic coming from Google, even though there's a little bit more of it coming from Google. So let's pop over here. Here I'm looking at behavior, which tells me how people are using my site. And I'm looking at the all pages under site content. So here I can see which blog posts, which pages are most popular on my website. And again, this traffic is for the last year or so. So this craft show must haves is my most popular post for the year. This has been popular for a long time since I first created and I've updated a lot. It gets 20% of all my traffic. And I know that a huge chunk of that comes from Pinterest. So let's pop over to my blog and look at that blog post. So five craft show must haves. This was last major update was January of 2016, but this post is actually much older. I've updated and added things to it over the years, tweaked some of those Pinterest images that I've created for it. So I'm gonna scroll down. As you can see, there's a lot of images that are sort of horizontally oriented, different than what I would recommend specifically for Pinterest, but I like to have a mix of images. This image here, is created with Pinterest in mind. Now it's hard to see because it's white on white, but this is a tall image with a tall chair and a little bit of text saying the best chair for craft shows and art markets. This image performs really well on Pinterest and sends people back to this blog post. Here you've just got a regular image, some shop related products that I have linked to Amazon, where of course I have an affiliate link where if people buy those products on Amazon, I make a commission. Scrolling down to show you the magic juice. Here's a tall image. This image get, gets pinned a lot because it's a tall image. This is actually the cover of my book that I wrote about craft shows. Scrolling, scrolling. So here we go. At the very bottom, I've included this image. Like this post, bookmark it on Pinterest. So you can see this is a very tall image, right? We've got a little bit of what is in this post, a little bit of text, another image showing a craft show, and a little bit of a watermark and link back to my website. So if I go to use the pin bookmarklet on my browser, you can see all of these a little bit better. And you can see that I've got some hidden images because as we were scrolling through, you didn't see this version of the image, but I have this image on the back end of my website so that people, if they go to pin something, this image gets pulled in as well as another option that they can then save to Pinterest here. You can see I've got a lot of these tall vertical images. So then let's hop over to Pinterest. So here is a very old version. You can see this, te this text that we use, the font is a little different. This is a very old version that I've since updated, but this is what I'm saying about the, t the stuff on Pinterest is evergreen and it lasts for a really long time. So this image has been pinned a whole lot and this is what sends traffic back to my website is an image like this, a very tall vertical image with all of these different products that gives people some helpful information. Five craft show must haves. They click right back through to my website. And if you see under more like this, you'll also see this is from my website. Um, there's another one. Here's this craft show must have that's also repinned. If you search craft shows on Pinterest, you're probably likely to run into one of my Pinterest images. 
Now let's see how that actually converts into money. So I'm gonna pop over here into my Amazon Associates because in that craft show must have blog post, you'll remember we had the, pin, the links over to Amazon products, products that would help you out if you're selling at craft shows, things like this, as well as some of these specific text links. So here where I link to my tall fold up director's chair, this goes to the product page on Amazon. Let me click and show you. So somebody clicks that, it goes to this VIP director's chair. If somebody purchases that, I get a commission of what that was, what that purchase price was. So here I'm looking at my Amazon Associates, my affiliate account, and this is just for January 2018. Like I said, I have not used a whole lot of um, Pinterest lately. I haven't even been putting a lot of effort into it. I've just been kind of writing on the coattails of stuff I did a long time ago. So I, I only earned um, about $159 this last month, but a big chunk of that came from that craft show must have post. So I have a unique tracking ID, this one, that everything in that craft show must have post was linked with that specific ID so I can see what that individual post is generating in terms of clicks. That was 1,800 clicks that's generated a whole lot of products. So this ordered revenue is actually the total amount that Amazon is making, not my commission. But you can see the incredible amount of money that's being generated from that blog post, which happened in large part because of all that traffic from Pinterest. As you've seen in this video, whether you promote affiliate products on a blog or sell your own products via an e-commerce site, Pinterest is great for driving traffic and generating revenue. Learn how to use this amazing tool in my new class, The Power of Pinterest. You can check out the link below.